Hello and welcome back to Saif and Simon's Chicken Run. In part one, we hit four different fried chicken places in, in Dhaka and uh, we're going to hit four more in this one. And then we're going to talk about our final thoughts and we're going to rank our personal favorites. So stay tuned for all of that. And uh, let's jump right in. Good evening. It is actually afternoon and we are at Chicken. I've never heard of this place, but they say it's from the UAE. Chicken these nuts. Damn, he's got me there. All right. Well, I'll, I'll pan around. I'll show you the place. Uh, we are waiting on the same, you know, the usual, you know how we do one crispy burger, one of the fried chicken. Um, and we got some special fries today. We got tandoori fries. And uh, they have pulse sauce, I mean. Are you yeah. excited for a test? Dude, can I be honest? I have a great feeling about chicken. Like, I don't know, the decor is really nice. Also, just the smell and the variety of the menu. It's literally everything I'd want. Because they have the grilled option, they have the rice bowls, they have the wraps, they have the burgers. They have the interesting, like the tandoori vibes going on here. I'm excited. I'm excited to try the chicken and the coleslaw here. Dude, because like, again, with KFC, dude, amazing but that coleslaw thing wasn't there you know yeah uh they also make pizza at this place i don't know why but they do make pizza oh, yeah i saw tacos as well i mean to be fair if you just have bread put shit in it's fair but yeah also they have a poster on the wall that says mayonnaise lettuce tomato cheese beef patty onion and ketchup oh, so they just bought mean? so they just got a, a generic burger poster that has nothing to do with their product but you know what i rate that so rate we just got our food and um, I'm just gonna say right off the bat that the tandoori fries smell like, like they they smell like tandoori fries. really pungent. They like smell I can, like tandoori fries. Well, yeah, they do, but like they don't look like you can tell that they put something on the fries, but it doesn't look as strong as it smells. Bro, I gotta say the chicken, the skin. And finally, there's a skin situation happening where I can rip off the skin and properly scoop. The coleslaw looks insane. Like very reminiscent to the coleslaw I'm used to eating fast food wise. The burger, not bad. <laughs> That's what it is. That bun looks not great, I gotta say. Yeah. Look, I'm not sure about how the burger is gonna be, but I think the chicken and the coleslaw experience is gonna be great. All right. All right. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll go first. Like the perfect piece of skin, bro. The perfect piece of skin. Okay, do your do your cold that, That's insane, bro. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> He's got so much cold stuff. He, that's basically half the cold stuff right there. <laughs> that seemed like it was really hot. Did you did you taste anything there, or did you just burn yourself? Alright, I'll, I'll give you a second. I'll, I'll take a try. And give me Very decent fry. Honestly. Bro, that's good bucket, you do it. All right. I haven't done this at any of the other ones yet, so. That's nice. I have to say just tasting that, the skin isn't my favorite, but you know what? We're gonna taste the chicken, we'll see. Cause right now I'm not getting any flavor out of this. It tastes like skin for me. The issue is the seasoning is just standard, but I liked it. The fries, nice, not bad. Yeah, but not as thundery as you would expect based on how strong they smelled. Anyway, burger time. I'm gonna just clip this on for a second. Yeah, you grab a half. I'll grab a half. All right, let's do this. I think our thoughts on the bun were accurate because it's not it's not a great bun. It's falling apart. Chicken content is pretty good though. Like, look at that. There's a lot of chicken in that bun. Flavor-wise, I like it. Not too saucy. Decent chicken flavor. I'll pass it over to Samin if he has any thoughts. Just the breading, a lot of breading. 
and the seasoning lacks flavor, but it's decent. It's decent. Yeah, the chicken is really flavorful. It's really flavorful. Yeah. I'll give it a go. First of all, I want I want to I want to do a little view on this chicken so you can see the inside of it. It's looking quite nice, looking moist. Looks like there's seasoning in there. I mean, it's it's definitely visible, visibly seasoned. So, for me, it kind of works as a whole. Even the skin wasn't as seasoning heavy. It makes up with the juiciness and the spiciness. Well, that's a nice chicken, yeah. Or, it's got flavor. It's nice. It's got a little bit of... Um, a little bit of spice, which I like. But That's like, good. It's not too spicy. No, it's not too spicy at all. No. All right, we'll keep we'll keep going. Also, the garlic sauce is just mid. It's like it's too sweet. It's not that garlicky. It's I. I gotta say that was a that was a very nice the chicken. Was so good. All right, um, I'm gonna use this lid. There was another spoon. Oh, really? It's a bit late for that. Has a tight coleslaw. Like right? it's it's nice. It's got like you it's, can you can tell there's a lot of like veggie it, in there. Also, it's so fresh. It's like not creamy like heavy. Yeah, it's not super sweet. It's not too like mayonnaisey. Solid, solid coleslaw. And I think that chicken was top tier. Like it had all the good stuff from <laughs> from BFC, like the spice and everything. But it it was fresh and it wasn't nearly as oily. I gotta say, better than BFC. That's a controversial opinion. Um, they might come and get you. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we won't, we, won't, we won't put this out till you're back in Sydney so that they, they have a harder time. It's better than BFC. But again, it could be because they just started. Could be. All right, we're going to move on. All right, listen up. The place here looks great. But uh, it's not a standalone restaurant, so I gotta take away some points, bro. It's true. It's got it's it's got too much of an upscale fancy vibe. It's not got like a chicken shop, you know, pull up, grab some food, run away kind of. Okay, now pull up. It's just it's just the vibes are off, bro. But I gotta say, it is a nice place. The bathroom looks very nice. Dude, the bathroom is insane. I like it. I, I quite like it. The, um, do they have just their own location? They do it's in Tanmudi. So we're not gonna go there. Nothing against the Okay, we're gonna make we're making some enemies. <laughs> By the with the two people that watch us. <laughs> One of them is from Don Mundi. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I I don't know if uh, my subscribers who uh subscribe to me for photography content will actually uh give a shit, but you know what? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we ordered, um, so thing is, this place is a little bit different. They have a bunch of flavors that you can get your chicken in, kind of like you would at a Korean fried chicken place. They do actually have Korean fried chicken also. So we had to make some decisions, and we went with a original burger. We went with a Typhoon chicken, which I was recommended. It's like a spicy kind of chicken, so we're going to see what that's like. And um, they had coleslaw. We didn't get fries because Samin got mac and cheese and uh yeah you know just it's that's what they make here i mean they do have fries but like mac and cheese you, there's mac and cheese on the menu you, you know we're gonna try mac and cheese yeah cool now, this right. place seems like a really hip and cool joint they got like neon on the walls with like just random text says stuff like this is your happy place you know the huge and uh, I, I don't know how long our food will take hopefully not very long but they didn't have a one-piece chicken option, so we had to get two pieces of chicken. And, like, I don't know about you, but I don't always want two pieces of chicken. So I think that they should introduce a one-piece option as well because that's, that's too many pieces of chicken. And also, you, when you get two pieces of chicken, you can only get one flavor. You cannot get two different pieces with two different flavors. Another thing that uh, they might want to consider because they're going to be watching this, of course, you know, because we're such great... Bro, just influential. Honestly. Look, this coleslaw kind of just 
feels like the coleslaws you'll get in Sydney. So this is just like a Bideshi coleslaw. It's not the Bengali. The chicken coleslaw was like a proper nice Bengali coleslaw. And this, like, you can actually try it by itself. So let's see how it is. Yeah, th this is this is what an actual coleslaw is. Like this is, you can see like, no. they have nice big pieces of what? No? What's going on? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. All right. A two, the coleslaw is a two. You can still taste the chili. Yeah, it's um. You can tell that they put sugar on top, and like you, the crystals are still. Just, I don't want to talk about it. I'm yeah, hurt. yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of the bun. Okay, we got our we got our chicken. We got our burgers. We got our coleslaw. We're still waiting on a mac and cheese. But you know, I gotta say, like this is. There was no tray involved. This is a much fancier operation. They've given us plates. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's really not the. F fried chicken experience that you expect but that's okay I mean it can be a fancier fried chicken but I mean it was like fairly the same price I mean it was more expensive because we got the mac and cheese but like if we did it I think it'd been like around the same price as the other places bro it sucks because the chicken patty insane it's so juicy it's insane the bun is shit yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold my bun up for a second so you can have a look at what we're talking about here. L look at the size of that thing, like, look at that squish, there's, there's too much. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. He's right, the patty's great, the sauce is like, there's such a good amount of sauce. Like, it's not overpowering, it's nice, it's like a nice little honey mustard type thing. But it's just, like, I don't even, like, the bun tastes good too, but it's just, it's just too much of it, it's just too fluffy. The consistency is shit. But also, I'm just gonna quickly dive into the chicken, bro. Yeah, yeah. Simon's on a Simon. Simon's Russian today. He's Russian. Oh, I'm not Russian. <laughs> All right, but like, this, this is, there's just too much of it. It's a good tasting bun. It just needs to be less fluffy. They need to they need to figure this out. They need to get like a smaller bun. That's so good. <laughs> All right. Look, man. Chicken was very different from a fast food chicken. This is more like this is different. Like I don't think it's the same category. Yeah, like it's first of all, like look at it. Okay, it doesn't look like a like a fast food fried chicken. Like it's not got like that. You can tell it's got a little bit of like a crispy skin, but it's more of like a like a regular breading and not like that flaky. You know, like the ones where you get all the cracks and stuff. You don't you don't have all of that. All of that. Um, it's much more a gourmet chicken. Mm -hmm. Especially this makes it so nice. Oh yeah, there's again unfair advantage. Yeah, there's like a little bit of like garlic and um, chilies that they've put on the plate. I would come here again, hundred percent. I would come here again to try the different combination of chicken flavors. But again, this is not a fast food chicken place. Like no, no one. But I would get the chicken and mac and cheese. This mac and cheese looks insane. Well, try it because sometimes they look great, taste like nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some chicken. I'm gonna level with you. This chicken isn't doing it for me. It's a nice chicken. There's no doubt. It's a good chicken, but it's not. It's not what I'm expecting. It's not a fast food chicken. It's not crispy enough. Yeah, it, I'm a bit disappointed with Mac. Like this is good. This is a good chicken, like, this and is nice. It has the cheese, but the sauce. Cheese sauce is not like have it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, hang on. One second. Like you can tell that it's like nice and cheesy, but it doesn't look like the right kind of cheese. No, that's mozzarella. It, that's not right. See what I mean? It's it's not good. It's bland. It's bland as hell. Um. Anyway, back to the chicken. <laughs> Like this is a good chicken, no doubt. Mm. It tastes very nice. It's just not what I wanted, you know? However, however, if you like fried chicken, but you don't want like a fast food fried chicken, this is a nice option. It's mm. very nice. It's got like 
this typhoon chicken that whoever recommended to me I can't remember right now but it's a good flavor it's got like very nice spice mu spice mix and I'm everything very disappointed with the mac and cheese. but you know what I'm not gonna discount them all together because I'll, I'll still rate them well I just I'm just saying like this is not what I wanted yeah. however they do have a lot of flavors and I, I think I would be willing to try more of them be willing to try more of their spicy flavors as well. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Because um, this typhoon has one chili pepper on the menu, and they it, they go up to like three or four chili peppers. There's a two chili pepper rub. There's a three chili pepper one. I think there might be a four. I can't remember, but you know, I'd I'd be down to try something spicier. Uh -huh. This is, this is day four. Uh, we were gonna do three days and then Simon was like, no, we gotta hit two more places. And so here we are. I have a potential secret five day plan, but I don't know if that's gonna go through because Saif already said no, but I might politic my way into it. Yeah, I just, it's a, there's so little time. Anyway, we're here at Al Baik. We've ordered our food. It's, uh, it's an interesting atmosphere. That's all I have to say about this. Um, I'll do a little pan shot of the, of the restaurant in a bit. But we ordered the burger, we ordered the chicken, we ordered some fries and some coleslaw, as like per the, the usual. I quite like the music, it's very s interesting, and it looks like what it is. I would say that the music has Islamic undertones and overtones. It's a very Islamic track. Yeah. And you know, that's really what you want. You want to pray to God while you're eating chicken so that it doesn't kill you or, you know, hurt you in ways that we're not gonna go into because it's just, you know, not, not a fun time. Also, I think this is a good angle. We're gonna move to a different uh, table, but I like this. All right, we can, we can do this one, that's we fine. Yeah. Work with yeah, 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 that's fine. There's no one else in here, by the way. There was a, like one other table when we came in and they've left now, so it's just us. We've been sat here for a while and there's 94 hours. Actually, I don't know. I think it's just been like 20 minutes. That's, that's a good question. Let me check. So while he's checking, guys, what's your thoughts on the beep, 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 and then all beep, beep. So the joke is that's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been 25 minutes and, uh, you know, in their defense, like I said, there was no one else here, and we ordered two pieces of chicken, one sandwich, some fries, and a wrap, yeah. and some coleslaw. Now, personally, <laughs> it's a fast food location. However, you know what? We're not gonna judge them on this because we haven't judged any of the other places on timing. Yeah. Like, Hungry Rooster took similar height, but like, I think that was 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And BFC up front, they told us there would be a while, but it was also, it was really busy and it was popping. Also, we manifested the food. It's coming now. Yes, I can see it over there. Also, we are next to the trash can because we are trash. I have to disagree. I actually think we're great people. Yeah, you know what? Speak for yourself, Kai. <laughs> so, um, I have thoughts before we get into this. This is just a burger bun, which this is... is alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Barbie. Yeah. We got all of the stuff. I gotta say, like, things are not looking great, but we're not gonna judge it on how it looks. We're gonna eat it, and we'll see. But uh, there's, like, Price very like few fries. Price-wise, definitely kind of disappointing. But you know what? We'll, we'll see. Yeah. But I gotta say, they, they, they give us a fat thing of garlic sauce. So that's one thing they got going for them. But they've also skimped on the coleslaw. Coleslaw tastes on. These fries are these fries are really, really stale. Like, they're I hard. Fries. I love stale fries, don't you? <laughs> I, that sounds like a potato chip over there. <laughs> I want to put this down for a second and then dip this in. Actually, you know, hang on. I'm just going to open the garlic sauce. I got to say, the garlic sauce smells nice. But I'm going to taste it. Oh, this is so close to being a good garlic sauce. It's like, it's, okay, it's not sweet. All the other ones we've had so far have been sweet. You can taste that this is very akin to what I want the garlic sauce to be, but it needs hella garlic. Like it needs like 60 to 70% more garlic in it. 
All right, for time for the wrap, and right off the bat, the bread is a porta situation. Oil. Oil, 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 oil. Electric boil. Which I mean, I guess. Mm. Flavorful chicken. It's nice, but the chicken's not really crispy in there. Zero crisp, but tastes all right. Better than beef soup. Okay. It's not, it's not super saucy or anything. Like, it's not dry, but it's not, like, drowning in sauce either. All right, I'm going to do it. I got to say, it's a thick piece of chicken in there. But I'm really not getting much flavor from it at all. Like, it was actually kind of dry in there as well. It's a lot of... I mean, it's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't really taste like anything to me. Like, I find that this is a very mediocre sandwich. Like, Obviously better than CFC. Yeah, but I feel like this is the first one that I've actually been actively disappointed by. The CFC one, the sauce was crazy, but like it tasted a little, it still tasted like chicken. This tastes like nothing. It's like I'm biting into an eraser. Really? Yeah, look at look at this fat piece of chicken I got. But, but my, like, one, my one seems more flavorful. Switch. Right, spot, spot. right? Is it the same? Yeah. I just had a bigger, thicker piece on it, but like it's the same chicken. It tastes like nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm um disappointed. I'm I might have to give my first below five or like five oh. score, but we're gonna see. We're gonna we'll, we'll we'll end up at the end and we'll see. Properly this time. It's all right. Nothing beats uh chickens. It's true, chicken was top tier. Right, I'm gonna bite into this chicken. This is a perfectly solid chicken. This is a good piece of chicken. Like, it's nice, it's spicy, it's got like, you know, it's not oily, which is good. It's a little bit oily. Look at that. It's juicy, it's got, you can see the seasoning. So it's a pretty decent chicken. I'm just sad that the burger was so off in comparison. Like if they just stuck this chicken inside that burger bun, that would have been it. That's all they had to do. But nah. Look, I'm not overly disappointed by the burger as you, so I'm a bit confused actually. I reckon it's decent, but like a five and six, five or six. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's it's pretty low though. Like it's it's not like I don't know what it is. Like CFC was the first one. Maybe that's why I didn't. But like everything has been so consistently edible since then. But that was just like it was. It was like someone put a lump of food in the shape of a burger, <laughs> and like in all appearances, it was definitely a burger, <laughs> but it tasted like nothing. Yeah, better than CFC personally. I don't know. I think the CFC one, I'd still like. I'd still order it and I'd just tell them, hey man, like, don't sauce it to hell. But this, I don't even know what I would tell yeah, them to change. I'd be I, like, I don't think I'd order this again. Yeah. The, just the burger, though. The chicken's good. The chicken's, chicken's tight. Yeah. Hello. We are at our probably last location, Crisp. It's in a food court, so we didn't actually sit down till we just got our food. It's hot. We're not going to show you around because it's a food court. Uh, anyway, uh, over to Samin. Like the food court area, this is similar to what we the situation in Hungry Rooster. So essentially, it's not in Chef's Table. Chef's right. Table in uh, Unimart, very famous in the Gulshan Dhaka, Gulshan Dhaka, Bonani, that area. So this is our and food. <laughs> so the, we didn't actually... They didn't have coleslaw at crisp. They ran out, so we actually went to greens and seeds and got coleslaw. I kind of felt bad for just getting coleslaw, so I spent more of Saif's money and got 
of some mushrooms and some other stuff as well. Yeah, this is an abusive relationship, actually. But like in all honesty, we're just gonna raid the coleslaw chicken test, but we obviously can't, you know, the, we didn't get to try Chris's coleslaw. Oh, and the electricity has just disappeared. And, uh, and children are screaming. Yeah. Nice. As, as per the usual, you know, that's what it is. Oh, thank you. I'll just grab that. All right, so we got our we got all of our stuff. Um, they have garlic sauce here as well. We're gonna try that. They have a masala gravy on the menu, but they did not have it. So yeah, I'll take this guy over here. So this food has oil in it. Really, fried chicken. Yeah. In this but economy. Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh. See, this is what I look for. You know what I mean? Only two places have had this, like actual chicken skin. Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Right. And it's using it like a knot. <laughs> Bro, try it. Alright, I'm gonna start with the french fry as I usually do. I gotta say, this french fry tastes a little bit oily, but. It's a decent French fry. It's not like, it's not amazing. It's not horrible. Garlic sauce though. Nah, I'm still not feeling these garlic sauces. It's too sweet. Not enough garlic flavor. I'll try this Naga sauce and we'll see if there's any. Oh, it's spicy. Nice. I like that. It's got that nice buttery Naga flavor. But yeah, anyway. Oh, also actual dinner roll bun not like not just a burger bun so props to them all right so the chicken i've had it i'm pretty impressed with it this is a nice fast food chain chicken it's a bit greasy a bit oily but this is what a fast food place chicken should be i'm gonna start with the burger because i'm a burger boy uh, some have even known to call me the uh, Burger King. Oh, damn. Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, in Bangladesh, bro. Anyway, I'm going to start with... Okay. Right off the bat, I can tell that it's going to be one of those like Hungry Rooster style situations where the bun's like just too big. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to allow it. We're going to allow it for a second before, you know, before we judge it. We'll try it. So what can I tell? What I can tell is the Naga sauce is spicy. <laughs> Okay, so that was just, that was exactly what I expected it to be. The burger bun really lets down that burger. It's perfectly decent, good meaty, big piece of chicken. No over the top mayo, but the mayo is kind of sweet. But that's kind of like the, that's the go-to flavor profile for Bangladeshi fried chicken places, so I get it. It would have been like a better burger. Like it may have scored like a whole point or two higher if that bun wasn't so meh or i'd say even i'd go so far as to say it's a bad bun because it's it's way too bready but it's a pretty decent sandwich like I'd, I'd be happy to order it but that bun needs work the crisp of the chicken the sauce everything is perfect the bun's horrible it's not good. let's sit down it's just it it it's so dense this bun unfortunate because it had great potential by right, chicken test. It's a good chicken, but it's too oily. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to have more than one piece. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can taste the oil. You know, like that. Now this could be a consistency issue. It could just be an off day. But if it wasn't so oily, like if you couldn't taste that oil in it, this would have been, again, like the same with the burger. It would have scored easily a point or two above what it's gonna score because of the oiliness. So it's gonna, I, I feel like we're gonna feel heavy after this, but we'll let you know after the fact. But you know what? It's good moisture in the chicken, good good seasoning. It's too heavy, man. The flavor is there, but it is a heavy piece of chicken. Also, shout out Greens and Seeds, they didn't have coleslaw. So we just went to Greens and Seeds, it's like a salad place. It's amazing. It's so good. But we, we are not saying, we're not going to score the coleslaw for the, for Chris because it's not their coleslaw. But if you go to any location that has a crisp 
and it's in a chef's table, there will be a greens and seeds as well. So you can definitely <laughs> do what we just did. It will be a little more expensive because it's a salad bar that goes by weight. But you know what? You can get a nice variety. You can get different things. You can balance out your chicken with some salad because, you know, health. Then why would you be eating fried chicken in the first place, I guess? But you know what? Let's not, let's not get into that. Oh, as you could see, we ate a lot of chicken, bro. Bro, we didn't just eat chicken. We ate everything. We yeah. had mac and cheese in there. Mac and cheese in there. There was um, a really shitty coleslaw. A really S word, B word coleslaw. <laughs> Fair. All right. Um, I'm still really seeing this. <laughs> it's true. Honestly, like that, that coleslaw was so bad. He left immediately after. He just left me there all yeah. by myself. I had to go like to a bookstore. I don't. We'll talk about that later. You gotta <laughs> keep watching. You gotta keep watching for. All right. Anyway, so that's what we mentioned. Time. But... Yeah. Okay. So, so we're we're going to uh, put up our our uh, all of our thoughts, like our whole list and the scores right now. Okay. So Simon, what's what's your top pick? As you could see. Chicken. Chicken. Yes, sir. Surprise contender. Chicken, dude. It's incredible. Like, what? Where did this come from? Yeah. Honestly, Where did you come from? Where did you go? Yeah. Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Chicken. <laughs> exactly. I mean, honestly, like, I saw it going down the street there and it looked a little bit dingy, but I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's yeah. give it a shot. And it was really good. It yeah. was so good. Honestly, I would say, like, I know it's number two in my rankings, but I'd say it's the best standalone, just the chicken. Yeah. Best chicken we have. Yeah. Really good. Also, the service, the guy was too nice because oh, yeah. I think he saw us with the camera and he was being yeah. super nice. Bro, what bias? Disgusting. Anyway, um, I will say that like the flavor of chicken was exactly what you want on a Bangladeshi fried chicken. It was spicy. Everything was great. But unlike BFC, it was not too salty and mm. it was not too oily. Yes, sir. So it felt good, you know, like you didn't feel bad after eating that. Mm. The burger was just okay. <laughs> I like the burger quite yeah, a lot. No, that's okay. I mean, it's your number one spot. <laughs> uh, anything you want to mention specifically about chicken? Oh, the coleslaw is the best. Like the best Bengali coleslaw. Like I was really impressed with Karthi's coleslaw because you know, we'll talk about that later. But this chicken's coleslaw was the best Bengali coleslaw. And did you see that like the tear, like the skin tear from the... Uh, Chicken, chicken, and oh, incredible. All right, my number one was KFC, and I'm a little bit surprised by that because I, when KFC opened in Bangladesh, it was really, really good. It was the best. Yeah. Um, but then they had a little drop off. A big and drop off. Actually. Yeah. So before before I left in 2018, my favorite go-to place was Herpy. I thought that they were going to be top dog. Yeah. For me, but KFC brought it back. It was so good. <laughs> However, I will. One caveat here. Mm. I've heard that it's inconsistent. I've heard that it's not very good all the time. Oh. But the day we went, they like knocked it out of the park. Everything was banged. And those like their tangy fries or oh, whatever. Oh crack. It's insane. literally crack. So good. Chicken was, you know, it was nice. It was it wasn't like a hundred percent like they just made it. Like it was it was you could tell the chicken was like not as moist as it would be if it was fresh. But it didn't matter because the flavor was there. Incredible, yeah. It was juicy still. It was crispy. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Just overall a mm. good time. And also not overly heavy. Not, yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is surprising. I know KFC, not overly heavy, but in Bangladesh is different. It gets way, it gets way heavier than KFC. Yeah. So, but the, the reason they won for me overall is because the chicken was good. It was really, really good. It was like top tier chicken. But the burger mm. was by far, by and large the best because the bun, yeah, I it was to agree with like that, yeah. the, the ratio chicken to bun was great. The bun was like good. It was like nice and like it was just it wasn't overbearing. You know, it wasn't like too much bun, not enough burger. Everything was perfect. Mm. And so KFC is my number one pick. Yeah, like I was gonna say, even if I like I chose chicken as my favorite, and I really liked the burger, but the KFC's burger is the best burger. It's like and the fries. Oh my jeez. I think that really shows our priorities. Like Simon prioritized the chicken and coleslaw test. I prioritized yeah. the burger. Because I, I love 
going in for a chicken burger. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. But also, Kips didn't have coleslaw. Yeah, and that yeah. was the biggest reason they fell yeah. off. Oh, them. also, their gravy now. They used to have like oh. the OG gravy yeah. when they opened, but then they lost their supplier. It, now it's just straight <laughs> up. It's just chicken curry. It's amazing. It's, it's great. incredible. It's, it's really good though. It's really uh, tight. It almost won for me. KFC yeah. almost won yeah. for me. But, but next we go to our number three, hey. Yeah. Three. Collectively, I think it's both the same. It's herpes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because like herpes was like, here, the hair just take. It was a mid-high experience. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It was a high experience, but mid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that makes like sense. Like everything was great. But like. But every like everyone else just edged them a little bit. Like the yeah. winners edged them on like one aspect. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Because the fries were good, the, the chicken was good. good. So here's the thing, okay, I think that Herpy may have gotten a better chance if they had the roasted chicken. Oh, yeah. But then they gave us the runaround. Oh my god. Like oh, we man. like a solid five minutes trying to convince this guy to give us roasted chicken. And he could have just said they didn't have it, but no, he tried to tell me, <laughs> oh no, you have to wait 30 minutes. I said, I'll wait 30 minutes. He said, Oh no, that's not enough. Uh, you have to order eight pieces. Not like, here no. to bro. Yeah, three people, eight pieces. Easy. Yeah. No worries. I said, bro, I didn't write the menu. It says two pieces right there. <laughs> and they said the machine is not. I said, bro, I, I don't run this restaurant. It's like you guys opened three hours ago. Why is the machine not on? <laughs> they basically didn't happen. They didn't want to say no because I don't know why there's a compulsive need to not say no in my fish. Regardless, yeah. it's fine. The fried chicken was really fresh. Like it was so moist and juicy. It just like a little bit of that like spicy. Punch, that bro. Thing. The punch wasn't there. Yeah. It was just like. Honestly, it's a really good starter for a chicken. Like, like if you had this abroad, you'd be very yeah. happy. Oh yeah, overall. I gotta say, no one place had a good garlic sauce, but I think your herpes may have come the closest to being decent. Mm, that's valid. I'm yeah. not a big garlic sauce guy, but I'm I've been I've sauce. been noticing his, you know, like... Uh, not yeah. not one of them had a tight yeah. enough garlic sauce, but herpes came the closest. But the herpes also, like, very good. Like, I would say maybe second or third favorite. Like, it was yeah. very... Like it was like a actually like bidashi type coleslaw. It was quite nice. Yeah. Bidashi means foreign. Bidashi means actually foreign for all our foreign listeners. D like, oh. Uh, right. Oh, let's talk about Hungry Rooster and Alba because Hungry Rooster is your fourth pick. Yeah. And my fourth pick is Alba. Yeah. You can go first. Okay, so my fourth pick, Alba. It actually ranked a bit lower for him. But for me, I it was, this is the differing opinion. Like I quite like the juiciness of the chicken. The chicken was quite good. The fries were okay. The fries were really bad. Yeah, they were the fries. Were they were really, stale. Oh my god, the fries were like. And also, they gave us like the tedious time was tomorrow. I don't know. Like, yeah. At that point, don't even include fries. Just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very disappointing. However, again, I'm just my biggest thing is the uh, skin and the coleslaw test, and they did a banner job of that. Alright, banger joke. I'm gonna shoot on all like for a little bit. Because Go for it. okay, first Go of for all, it. <laughs> it comes with a bun, but the bun they gave us was a burger bun. It yeah. was not like a dinner roll, it was not a separate bun, it was just a burger also bun. Dense, so it dense. Was, oh yeah, their their burger bun was not it bro. Anyway, um like I said, I prioritized the burger and the burger at Albayak to me tasted like nothing. It straight up just tasted like the texture of chicken and then no flavor. So I felt bad, but the chicken was good. I mm. will say that the chicken was good. So if you go there for the chicken, just the chicken on its own, it's actually pretty good. Like you'll have a good time with the chicken and coleslaw yeah. experience. Yeah, however, another reason that I ranked Albayak lower, and this is not something that I considered at a lot of places because overall the costs were pretty uniform, mm. but Albayak felt like we paid we paid the same amount of money, but we got the least amount of food. Oh. Everything was a quite a bit smaller portion. Sure, sure. So I was not a fan of that. Oh yeah, that's that's true. I didn't if it was really good and it was a smaller portion, I would have no issues. But because it was so mediocre and the portion was smaller, I took offense because the brown man in me was like, how dare you? That's me? fair. It ranked higher for me because like the thing is, it was like eating BFC but not feeling as bad. You know what I mean? That's it was fair. like, a, to me, it was a better BFC. We'll talk about BFC later, but it was a better BFC for me, you know? Yeah. And also, I actually uh, differ from this burger take because I feel like it was decent, you know? Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about Hungry Rooster because Hungry yeah. Rooster is an interesting place. Oh man, yeah. I got a recommendation on a Snapchat, sorry, on an Instagram story I put out asking about recommendations for yeah. fried chicken to Hungry Rooster. And uh, they have, so Hungry Rooster, first of all, it's in this place called The Hive. So there's yeah. like 
four or five different restaurants. You order in one place, and there's a central kitchen. In Gusan, it's in the five. Yeah, in, in Bonn. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, but like they they bring you. Well, I don't even know if there's other location. I there really is. have no clue. There. But anyway, they bring you like all the food in a one plate and stuff. It's much nicer than the regular fast food. Mm. And the chicken isn't a fast food chicken. It's a fried chicken. But it's not. A but fast it's like a more uniform, like a breaded. Chicken, not as much like a battered crispy crack. Like skin. something you would get in like a yeah. restaurant situation. Yeah, and they put a lot of stuff over it. Like the burger had like you know tomato and like lettuce, and the chicken had this garlic stuff. Over. We had the typhoon fried chicken, which is like a one on their chili scale, and they have chilies of like three and four, four levels. Yeah. So I would be interested to try those. Yeah, but um, overall, the chicken was okay. It was tasted fine. I think that. They were relying too much on the outer seasoning and didn't season the chicken as much. Yeah, that's valid. But I will say this: uh, I, I sort of tried to not regard like the garlic and stuff they put on because I felt it gave them an unfair advantage over mm. the other places. But all in all, it was a very decent time. Yeah. But it was the lightest chicken you had. It was oh, so good. You, you could crush like six of those and not feel a thing. Exactly. Yeah. It was a bit smaller as well, man. It was, but honestly, like I didn't feel like it wasn't enough food. Mm. Yeah. Uh, however. How big, however, that's what it's so yeah. low for me. The cold. Oh, oh. Ah. Nice. I hate it, man. Yes. Oh, it's like it's like oh, I will kill you, sir. Why was it so bad? Why was yeah. it so bad? They put sugar on the coleslaw, and they Shut didn't up, even I don't take the it. time to like stir it so it dissolves. It was, it was just sugar crystal. granules all over. It was just so weird. My heart sank. It was just, just no. We made a made a made a. It that's what rang so low for me because bruh, you know what I mean, bruh. However, I could crush like a lot of the chicken. Like I'd just go to Hungry Rooster for the chicken and dude about the burger. What sucked is it was nice. Like the flavor oh, yeah. and everything was nice. However, the bun. bun oh man, the bun let us down. Anyway, let's talk about uh, our relatively bottom three, like BFC, CFC, and Chris. Yeah. But here's the thing, they're all the same vein. They're like a very Bangladeshi flavor, flavor palette. Like all the burgers have like mayo on top. Mayo, sauce. So you can tell like they're all going for the same thing. And the chicken at all three places actually tasted good. Mm, but I defer. it was too oily. Oh, yeah. BFC was too salty. Oh, man. CFC barely had flavor. Uh, let's not even talk about it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. CFC, like, like. Anyway, crisp was just, it was just, just slightly higher than it's BFC there. for me. Yeah. It's there. But here's the thing BFC had so much potential because, like, their menu is fast. They've got so much stuff. Some of the sides are actually really good. But, yeah. Like, like the naga pork is pretty yeah. good. The chicken and the burger. The burger was actually decent. Yeah. I, honestly, I'd be happy to have that burger. The chicken was just too salty. Oh, and man. Too oily for me. Like, it's just, you felt sick physically. If you watch the video, you'll see me enjoying it a lot because, like, it was like my first time, yeah. you know, having yeah, it. It's been so, a while. like, the na- nostalgia really hit. But then I, like, let it sink in after a few days after trying everything else. Just over seasoned. Just too much. Over seasoned. And immediately after, uh, well, let's not talk about that. But basically, something. So for me, <laughs> for me, these three restaurants rank the lowest because I got really sick. Like after Chris, the thing is Al Bike, I had a great experience. But we tried Al Bike and Chris on the same day. I mean everything was like <laughs> so we tried and then after I had Chris from like Saif, bye. I'm going home to alleviate myself uh, from the mouth. <laughs> and then I will join you to film this outro. After the alleviation of uh, stomach properties through the mouth region, trachea, <laughs> I passed out. I was like sleeping, just like bruh. And then this man was literally lying down like this waiting. And I couldn't, I couldn't because I was just so done, bro. And CFC and BFC, we hit the first day. And this time, I just took him with me home and he was in a different room. I was and still lying down. <laughs> And the anyway, alleviation. It's it's Let's talk about in depth. So the, what happened? No, 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 please. Okay. Anyway, CFC had the worst burger because it was just all sauce. It was all sauce. Nothing at CFC was good. They have a pretty decent bakery, but we're not gonna talk about that. The bakery slaps. Yeah. Bakery just slaps. Chicken. Call it California bakery. 
Bakery. CB. <laughs> CB. <laughs> California Bakery. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. BFC. No, no, before we talk about BFC, because I let's just wait. But more, let's talk about crisp. Crispy. <laughs> That's it. That's All right. See you. All right. They should hire more people to work at the counter at Crisp. Oh There's man! There's one guy at the Unimart location in Bulsha. Oh man! And he's not—he's not enough, right? The, Poor guy. The line is so long, and this one guy is just—it's hot in there. He's oh, just sitting man. like he's sweating. I tried cracking jokes, just straight yeah. faced man. Yeah. yeah. But then again, I have this yeah. weird compulsion to have people like me. Yeah, sure. work on that. Yeah. Anyway, so like this. <laughs> They didn't have coleslaw. They didn't have coleslaw. That's why we had to go to oh, yeah. Greens and Seeds. Shout out yeah. Greens and Seeds. Honestly, the best place there, except in the system. Anyway, we're not yeah. All right, I think that's it. That's, that's but also, nice. however, we did not try the lemon fried chicken, which we should have. Yeah. Because that gets a lot of like love and stuff like that. So okay, we'll, we'll give it a go later. But I think that like we had to try plain fried chicken. If yeah. Before. So to keep it like you yeah, know, consistent. Fair. But like, you know, just according to that cheek crisp was like second last because it made me feel obnoxiously heavy and it was just oh my god. Yeah. Like you need to coat your stomach well before you Yeah. I think I I don't know if that's for everyone. Maybe our you know our stomachs have become weak. Yeah, that's fair. But I think that it's a good it's a good way of looking at it because, you know, not everyone's gonna have that atomic taka stomach. Yeah, yeah. But now let's talk about the elephant in the room. I need to lose weight. Oh, besides that, let's talk about we, you say about me? What you say about me? You me? But, but BFC, dude. Ugh. It's disappointing. Disappointing. Honestly, here's the thing though. Consistent but disappointing? No, I mean like I'd still eat it. No, I would I would eat it, yeah. but I don't know if I'd eat the chicken. I like the burger. I, I would eat the burger. I'd eat maybe one piece of chicken, but oh, I'd so. have to, I'd have to like not eat. Like we did CFC and BFC back to back. So, oh, never so did it that. May have, it may have compounded, you know, the, the oiliness. But then again, didn't you have it like uh, all the other? Yeah. So I had BFC on its own and it was fine. Yeah. And, but then again, I was fine after both BFC trips. So mm. I'm the one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to say that I'd still eat it. Like the, the flavor is there. If you're willing to look past a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of oiliness, a, a lot of oiliness, oh, um, a lo lot of oiliness, like it's, it's still good. It's yeah, but, but not the, the burger. The burger from BFC, I'd say, is still a classic. I'd still go for the burger yeah. and <laughs> and the wedges clearly. <laughs> and the wedges. <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay, we need to talk about these wedges. They're not wedges. They're not good. Don't. Don't, whatever you do, do not order right, So let me tell you, the bottom, if you think about it, like Hungry Rooster, BFC, Crisp, and CFC, are like on the bottom four because they didn't have a clean skin for off. If you think about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. None of them had a clean uh, a skin for off. Even Harfi, it it had a little bit, but like I'm giving it a pass because the crispy less of the skin was still there and it was a really good combination because like the old slaw really was great but hungry rooster bac crisp and cfc are like the bottom four for me because it didn't have a clean skin pull up that i could you know scoop the coleslaw with so it was unfortunate but that's what i didn't like about bfc that's what the point was because bfc i used to go there all the time specifically because of the skin pull up thing and the fact that you it's not like that He's getting borderline psychotic the way he's saying skin pull. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want do you want to take a second to talk about how saucy that coleslaw was? Because it was all sauce. Bro, it was It was 90% mayo. It was, it was basically like going to the store and buying a jar of mayo and then someone managed to slip and drop like a half a baby carrot in there. Half a baby carrot. Like that's what it looked like. And honestly, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. But you know what? I, I understand that BFC caters to a palate that is quintessentially like Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. yeah. We're not there. I get that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say, you know, our opinion is the only opinion. Yeah. But, but I, I would say that if you want a good time, like a good fried chicken that tastes like BFC but like doesn't make you feel like shit. <laughs> go to Chris. It's like go to chicken. Dude. Chicken. Go to chicken. Even I'll like good. even I'll like just for the chicken, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, so of course, go to chicken, bro. Like chicken, yeah, hundred percent. But it costs less or costs the same. It's just better. It is better, but yeah, I'll buy. Oh yeah, I'll buy this. I'll I miss Alba Brana. 
but I'll buy uh, more expensive. But yeah, that is a big factor. Okay, we've been talking for like 20 minutes. Let's, let's, let's wrap this up. Okay, to wrap it up, you're... Okay, okay to wrap it up, Sam, go for it. Uh, yeah, I, I hope you like that. Yeah, and I thanks for watching if you yes. stuck through. Yeah. But this was all of our takes and everything. Just quickly, before we end, best burger. Best burger? KFC. KFC. Best chicken. 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 Best coleslaw. Chicken. Chicken. Awesome. Best fries. Oh, a KFC. The oh my god. See, like we we both agree that KFC yeah. wins two categories. Chicken wins two categories. Yeah. Best overall, you know that his yeah. idea is chicken minus BFC. Yeah. I think that's a KFC. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> KFC. Yeah. But I think that goes to show, like, it really depends on what your priority. Is. Yeah. And preferences. Yeah. And uh, you know, we have our scores. You'll see us eat. You'll see our, you'll see the ambiance and everything. Pick, pick based on what you want. Yeah, but at the end of the day, these are just two opinions from two. Yeah, and you know, we had a fun time. We went, we brought some friends. We ate yeah, some yeah. chicken. We got yeah. to, we got to just hang out. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Don't miss you, guys. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. See you never again. <laughs> <laughs> or part two, three years Unless. later. Part two, three years later. <laughs> Unless. 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 <laughs> Unless. <laughs>